Hello and welcome to Fluke Fridays. Happy Friday. This is episode number 15. I can't believe it. We've made it all the way to episode 15. And today what I'm going to go over is kind of a walkthrough on the Fluke 729 automatic pressure calibrator. So if you or your facility do a lot of pressure calibration, this might be the right tool for you. Um, it has an automatic pump inside of it that'll pump up to the right pressure maintain that pressure, and then go to the next step. So we're gonna go through a calibration for you here in a little bit. But first, um, a couple things that, so hopefully you guys can see. This is the 729, uh, 729, I think this is a 300G, yeah, 300G uh, FC calibrator. So it, it has Bluetooth capability. It goes up to 300 PSI. There are a couple other versions out there. There's one that goes to 150 PSI and then one that goes down to 30 PSI. Obviously with pressure, as you get lower range, you get higher accuracy for that specific range. Okay, so this is the unit. It's a nice heavy unit um, because it's got the pump built inside. It also comes with a case like this. This is a kind of a, a hard case, hard, hard plastic. I don't know what they call this. It's got a little bit of flex to it, but um, it's hard. So you can put the 729 down inside of here. And it's got a couple handles and strap. So you can actually carry this with you and you could hang it on something and have all the buttons of the 729 exposed in this. Maybe I'll take a picture of it and show it later in the video. So you get that and Let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the different angle of the 729. The other thing that we are gonna be using today, we're gonna be using a heart, uh, Rosemont heart um, pressure transmitter. And this one's a little different than the ones you've a lot of times probably seen in the market, but this is the same thing essentially, it's just in a different form factor. We're gonna use this to calibrate um, or to go through a pressure calibration test today and let you guys see what that looks like. So, we're gonna power it on. Here is your 729 FC powered on. Uh, one thing I will say, this battery, man, this is a great battery in this unit. It lasts forever. Um, I don't know how often you'd have to charge it if you're doing calibrations all day, but man, uh, you just don't have to charge it very often. It, it lasts a really long time. If you're not doing calibrations every day, charge it twice a year, you're, you're gonna be good. But um, if you're doing a lot of calibrations, you know, maybe you'll charge it once a week or something, I don't know, but I'm really impressed with the battery life on this tool. So a little bit about it as we look through this tool, uh, this can uh, source pressure, and that's right here. Um, if you look at the side, here's some of our heart communication capability. We can also tar talk heart, that's a, communication protocol with these uh, through the milliamp jack ports. And then on this side, you'll see you've got the ability to download and communicate to a PC, charge the battery, or you can actually take the battery off the back and charge the battery by itself, and then a venting port, and you can vent it. Okay, so that's a little bit about just the interface of it. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna hook up with these quick disconnect, uh, hoses. You can get these, these quick disconnect hoses. They're just finger tightening uh, pressure hoses. You can get these from Fluke. I'll, maybe I'll put a link in the description below for, for a couple of these different kits. Um, but I'm going to use this. I'm going to connect it to my pressure out. And then I'm going to, I've got the same kind of quick disconnect on my transmitter. So I'm going to connect to my pressure in on this side. Okay. Okay, so now we are connected with the pressure. Now we're gonna take the transmitter, the leads. We've got these programmed in here so they're easier to uh, connect quickly for demonstration purposes. And now we've got our leads connected to those and the pressure. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do if it is a heart 
device like this one or like any other um, heart device in the field, you're going to want to hit the heart button so that the instrument itself can go look and gather all the information from the uh, transmitter and know where we're calibrating. So we're going to hit heart. It processes here for a little bit. You can see it's not seeing anything. Well, it's because of a couple things. Loop power is not on. If this was hooked up to a system and it already had its own loop power, we wouldn't have to do that. But we have to turn on loop power and we need to enable the 250 ohm resistor. Once we do that, it'll pop up and mine's nicknamed after me. Be good for Brandon Good. And so we can click enter or you can hit F4 to continue. Either way, you can see now we're reading the transmitter and now we get to the point that we can see the information that the 729 can see out the transmitter. So you can see heart data. I'll scroll through this so that you can see it. You guys that do pressure calibrations know more than I know about this stuff. So that's page one. Page two gives you this. Page three gives you that. So you could adjust the transmitter range if you wanted to in here so on and so forth okay so it can do some basic changing of the transmitter configuration because it talks basic heart um, you can hit service so if you want to do a pv0 trim milliamp output trim again i'm not going to read all these but you can see it we're just going to hit back calibration ad hoc that's what we're going to do today. So I'll come back to that in a second. Find task tag. So this is a smart, um, a smart calibrator. It's a documenting process calibrator, just like the 754, except this one only does pressure instead of pressure and temperature, but it does pressure automatically. So obviously it does a little better than the 754 for pressure. And with that, you can connect to multiple different software platforms. You can do um, our software platform or Prime Technologies, and you can then um, load in tasks. So if you said, I've got seven different pressure transmitters we need to calibrate, you could load those transmitters into the software, set them up that we need to calibrate these annually or every quarter, and then the software would notify you, hey, it's time to um, calibrate these, you load those tasks, connect the 729 to the computer, you'll load the task into the 729, go out, find the task, and then do the task, and then bring it back to the computer and download the results. That's what the task menu is for. We're not going to do that today. And then bus polling, oops, that's beyond my expertise as well. So here we go. Sorry, we got to get back into this. So we are gonna do ad hoc, so you can hit three or scroll down to it, hit select. Now we are gonna do a pressure calibration from zero to 100 PSI, four to 20 milliamps. Okay, that makes sense. We're gonna go forward. Now we're gonna say a tolerance range. So you tell your tolerance range. And then what kind of test strategy you're gonna have. So you're gonna do three up, three down, you're just gonna do three up three down, so on and so forth. I'm gonna do three down so I end with no pressure in the system, but you can do whatever you want. I won't speed this up. I know it'll be kind of boring, but I think it's important that you can see how long it takes and uh, kind of the, the coolness. Of it. Or maybe I will speed it up, I don't know. I'll see after once I'm editing it. So once it, what's the settling time? We're gonna say it could be five seconds, maybe We'll say five seconds that we can just leave it at that. And it's linear, okay. So continue. So now you can see when we're ready to test, we can do manual test. If we do manual test, we have to tell it, okay, go to the next step, go to the next step. If we do auto test, it'll just go. So I'm gonna hit auto test and you'll be able to hear the pump and what it's doing. So right here, you'll see set point 100. The thing hasn't started pumping yet, but it will here in a second and it will drive it all the way up to 100 PSI.
Okay, so you can see the pump drove up to close, and now it's doing the fine tune adjust. So we have like the 7, um, 719 that has the automatic pressure pump, kind of like what we just did, but then you would have to use um, the fine tune adjust yourself, whereas the 729 does the fine tune itself. Now it did 100 PSI, now it's going down to 50 PSI. So it's releasing pressure and heading down for us. <clears throat> Again, it'll get close and then it'll start doing some fine tune adjusting until it locks in to the um, to the range that it needs to be. Then it'll take a reading of the milliamps out. Okay, and now it's going back to zero, and it will do the exact same test again. And then after this gets done, what it'll do is it'll give us a pass fail chart. So when this is done, it'll give us a pass-fail chart, and that pass-fail chart will give us a pass-fail on each of the ranges that we tested for, which is really nice and gives it to you in a nice graphical form. Okay, so let me see if I can move this and get it a little closer for you. There you go. So you can see this is the test results, and it tells us the test point, so what the instrument was shooting for, what it actually sourced at the time of the test, what it measured for the milliamp out, and then the percentage error. And because we had a 0.2 um, percentage error, um, all of it passed. If we would have put like a 0.1, then obviously the bottom two would have passed and the top one would have failed. This gives it to you in this form. Again, if you were going to use software, you could then download this reading and record it in your software. If you're not, you could just have this and then write it down on a piece of paper or take a picture and print it off in your work order. But that is how easy it is to do um, a pressure calibration or do a pressure test with this 729 automatic pressure calibrator. You do not have to go out in the field and tire out your forearm pumping up to 300 PSI or 150 PSI. Um, you can let the instrument do it itself, and if it is a smart transmitter, you can just tell it to go, and it just goes, levels out, takes a reading, goes to the next one, takes a reading. So you could get the thing set up, hook everything up, hit go, hit the auto test like I did, walk to the bathroom, go do something, fill out the next paperwork, get the next instrument ready, however you need to do, or whatever you need to do, and the tool itself can work while you're just doing it, and then you can just see the results when you get back. I hope this video was helpful. I do think the 729 is a great tool for those that have a lot of pressure calibrator, pressure calibrations. If you're only doing pressure calibrations, you know, once a month or once a quarter, probably not worthwhile. But if you've got 20, 30 things that you got to get calibrated every month, it might really save you time and uh, hopefully it's beneficial. So leave any questions in the comments below. Happy to try to help with anything that didn't make clear in the video. Take care.